Good morning guys, hello and welcome to another episode of the Yola Mexico travel series. So it's uh, bright and early, 6 a.m. up and ready to move on to the next destination. So in about half an hour, I'll have my cab ready downstairs to head to the airport. And this time, instead of uh, relying on collectivos and stuff, because it's early morning and I really need to be at the airport on time, I booked a private cab from the hotel itself. Might be slightly pricier, but it's okay. It's better to have a confirmation this time. No experimentation with the flight set. Packed and ready already. Packed most of my stuff last night itself to make it easy to to move out in the morning and also to get better sleep um, so I don't have to wake up super early and start packing anyway I have very limited luggage so it normally takes me under 20 25 minutes to pack up and move out so um, yeah let's grab our stuff uh, head on downstairs wait for the cab and let's get started Finally made it to the airport. The private taxi, they use the paved tarmac. I don't know why the last time we took the back end dirt roads and stuff. This was like under 20 minutes. And that was like, Collectivo was 115. This was 250. The guy was asking 300. I managed to bargain and pay him 250 afterwards. So that's pretty okay. Let's go in and find out the check-in counter. A security guard just tried to give me a little heart attack. She thought I was going to 7.40 to Puerto Escondido, which is in like 40 minutes. And there's nobody here anymore. So she said the flight is about to take off. I was like, impossible, the flight is in two hours. Somehow managed to explain to her, but mine is a different flight. So she said, okay, wait, and some personnel is gonna come in and help you check in. This is the one and only counter in the entire row of counters here. So uh, it's a very, very small airline. I'm guessing it's gonna be a very small plane too. I just hope that the check-in goes smoothly. We got the paper boarding pass. They seem to be a bit stricter with the weight. I guess it's a smaller plane. And the weighing machine seems a bit off. Like I've been carrying 14 kilos all this time and here it shows a bit over. So I had to pay a little bit extra. It's like 50 pesos per extra kilo. But anyways, it's all done. I have about one, one and a half hours to boarding. So let's cross to security. cafe here maybe time to have some breakfast and some coffee woke up a bit too soon slept only like five hours last night time to wake up
that's a very epic experience a small plane with aero tucan airlines um, that's the one of the two airlines that you can use to fly down south to the coast of oaxaca state uh, and the other one was like you have to directly write to the captain and i wrote to him he never replied so i booked with him um, it was a very interesting ride you fly so low altitude that you see all the mountains and stuff it's like epic and then it's like a small airport so you just walk directly to the exit so and then they all the the person there's like a single person so they all directly gave us the the baggage so i have my stuff with me already so let's uh, wrap up this episode of the ola mexico travel series right here and in the next episode i'll reveal the exact destination where i am and it's much hotter here down down south so i gave you a lot of hints about where i could possibly be so you can continue guessing but anyway in the next episode i will reveal where i am and the accommodation should be very epic as well so really excited and looking forward to it anyways until then this is the rustic wanderer signing off see you again in the next episode